Welcome to the New York State Seal of Biliteracy Guidance Toolkit. The modules in this toolkit represent a collaboration between NYSED and the Mid-State and Midwest Arborns to support schools in beginning the process of implementation. They are designed as a self-guiding process for individual schools or those who wish to work together in a consortium. The modules can be viewed in a sequence or individually to brush up on a particular topic. Each module consists of an agenda, a PowerPoint, and various supporting documentation and exemplars. Schools are encouraged to use these documents for their promotional materials as well as for internal and external communications. These modules are available online on the OBEWL website. My name is Candace Black and I will be your guide for this module. Module 6, Planning to Celebrate the SEAL, will guide participants through the process of organizing and implementing a celebration for SEAL candidates. For more information on starting a SEAL of Biliteracy program at your school or for any questions regarding the SEAL, please contact me at candace.black at nicid.gov. Let's start with the module objectives. By the end of this module, participants will be able to do the following. Know how to fill out and submit the SEAL request form. Brainstorm how, when, and where the SEAL candidates will be celebrated at their school. And identify the resources, tasks, and staff necessary for this celebration. Reflect on how your school currently celebrates student achievement. What practices might you build upon to include the seal of biliteracy? Start to share some of your initial ideas for celebrating the seal. What will you do? When will you do it? Who will be involved? As we review the suggested timeline, we have moved into the celebration stage. The SEAL request form is an online form in which the school provides the number of SEAL stickers and medallions requested, the school address to which they should be sent, and the date by which they are needed. This form is recommended to be submitted by May 31st of each school year in which the school wishes to offer the SEAL. However, the deadline is flexible. It is important for schools to work backwards from the date they will give out the seals and medallions to students and to allow at least one week's processing time from the date of request. Schools are encouraged to consider how they might use the following to celebrate their seal candidates. Notification to parents, school website, local newspaper article, a bulletin board or school display, school announcements, promotion in classes, notification to the Board of Education, and social media. 2019-20 was the first time that the New York State Education Department provided the actual SEAL stickers and a medallion for each student free of charge. Prior to that year, schools were sent a digital image of the SEAL and had to choose to purchase any additional graduation regalia for the SEAL of Biliteracy from other vendors. In addition to the SEAL stickers and medallions, OBEWL provides to all schools offering the SEAL a set of three certificate templates, one for students earning the standard SEAL and additional certificates for students earning the SEAL in two or three world languages respectively in addition to English. Schools will need to type or write in the student names and then print their certificates. OBEWL will continue to provide SEAL schools with the digital image of the current year's SEAL for their use on publications or digital communications, including their websites. All of these items are sent to schools upon submission of properly completed SEAL request and end of year data forms. Schools have found many ways to be creative in their celebration ceremonies, from artful arrangements of medallions and certificates to a cake with an image of the seal. The seal of biliteracy must be noted on the student's official transcript. An example of this from Batavia High School is shown on the screen. Schools can choose their own wording for this notation. They may also wish to print the digital seal image on the transcript. We recommend that schools also indicate when a student earns the seal of biliteracy in the official graduation program in the same way they might indicate 
when a student graduates with the Regents Diploma with Advanced Designation. Finally, it is very important for districts to report the number of seniors who have earned the Seal of Biliteracy each year as part of the ESSA accountability measures for college, career, and civic readiness. Some schools will enter a special diploma code, 8312, provided by NYSED into their student management system. Other schools have a system in which the counselor checks a seal of biliteracy box for each student that earns the seal. Still others will work with their regional information centers to enter this information. Seal of biliteracy coordinators may wish to connect with their head of counseling and their data specialists to identify how this works at their school and which staff member is responsible for this reporting. We have now reached the end of the presentation of Module 6. Let's revisit our objectives for this module. Consider whether the Seal of Biliteracy Committee was able to accomplish all of the can-do statements included here. This module series is designed as a practical guide to implement a Seal of Biliteracy program. Each subsequent module picks up where the prior one left off. Whether working within a school or with a consortium of schools, it is recommended that viewers consider completing the following homework assignments in preparation for the next module. Bring a draft of your certificate. Identify the staff member who puts the notation on the transcript and graduation program. Identify the staff member responsible for entering the code 8312 in the data management system and or the person who is responsible for making sure the seal of biliteracy candidates are properly reported to the state. Identify when and where you will celebrate seal candidates. Please share any additional questions you may have with the group at this time. Further questions can be emailed to candice.black at nysa.gov or your local Auburn representative. For more information on the SEAL, you can contact us at the previously mentioned email or via phone at 518-473-7505. We can also arrange for a virtual or in-person visit to a school to meet with your SEAL of Biliteracy Committee. New York City DOE Schools should contact the Division of Multilingual Learners at dml at schools.nyc.gov. The OBEWL New York State Seal of Biliteracy website has a wealth of information on the seal and is easily accessible from the link provided on this slide or by visiting www.nysa.gov and typing seal of biliteracy into the search bar. Every region of New York is serviced by one of eight regional bilingual education resource networks or ARBERNs. These organizations can provide local support for a seal of biliteracy program the link for each Arburn is listed below. New York State Language Arburn statewide, Capital District Arburn at Questar 3 BOCES, Hudson Valley Arburn at SW BOCES, Long Island Arburn at Eastern Suffolk BOCES, Mid-State Arburn at OCM BOCES, Midwest Arburn at Monroe to Orleans BOCES, New York City Arburn at Fordham University, and Arburn West at Erie 1 BOCES. Thank you for participating in this module. We hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to send any feedback on this module to the aforementioned email as we are always looking to improve the end user experience. The members of the SEAL task force listed on this slide were instrumental in contributing to and reviewing this module series. On behalf of the Office of Bilingual Education and World Languages of the New York State Education Department, the authors would like to thank them for their service.